Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you happen to be watching this recent in Tokyo, coming at you with some more. Uh, it's not binding to Isaac, that's for sure. Uh, some more. A little bit Planet 3. We are doing create mode still. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. I've got this. I, I need to get this done by Wednesday. I've got no time. Even though I had all the time in the world today, and then I, I did use some of that, most of that time, but. Ah. You know, ah, it's never enough. No nothing is ever enough, and we're working on it. We're doing the thing slowly, as as quickly as we can, but it's still slowly. Is it Monday? I think it's definitely Monday, because I, I, I was not at work today. I was not, in fact, at work. I was sitting here at the home doing this. Which is, I mean, like, a good way to use your time. Don't get me wrong. I am glad that I was using my time in this fashion, but uh, at the same time... Not work. But we are, we're just, we're getting ever closer to our goal of uh, being done with this bleeding level. It's not a bleeding level, it's, it's... I'm enjoying myself, but it's stressful. I am stressed, but I'm always stressed. So, like, why why should that be different? Why should that be new? Oh, S Meligard, how you doing? I hope that you're very well tonight. hope that life is being kind to you. Uh, we're not doing story mode. <laughs> even though I should be doing story mode, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Uh, even though I, we should be doing story mode, but we're not yet. Uh, I, I'm so close. I'm so close to finishing this, Meligard. <laughs> I'm gonna get it done! <laughs> I swear! Doing very well. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing better now. Um, definitely doing better now. It was a bit of a rough day. But, um, uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm alive. I'm largely happy, I guess. Wish I had gotten this, uh, completed, but, you know... There's that. That's a thing that happens. Um, and yeah, like life is, life is a whole uh, box of of stuff. And we we've got our we got our good days. We got our bad days. But this one is uh, it's trending towards good at the moment. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> uh, it's lovely to have you here, though. I am so glad that you're doing well. Um, we, we, what do we want this at? 10 seconds? Probably. I don't like this section, honestly. Like, I don't. It's fine, and it's classic, but it's also, like, re really, really fiddly. And it just, it looks ugly. <laughs> it does. I kind of hate it. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Not gonna, not gonna complain. Gonna do, it's gonna do our thing. It's gonna be. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be wonderful. Just wonderful. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I hope. I spend like so much time reviewing levels, and now I'm doing a level, and it's just like, yeah, this is kind of working ish. It's hard. Uh, you know, the creator not liking part of level visually isn't uh, too great. I. It's a feeling. It's like a whole mood. <laughs> it's a whole mood, and I kind of hate it. <laughs> I I mean, I like parts of the level, but it's definitely, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, definitely parts of it that I'm not, not super happy with, but it's just kind of like, well, it's just going to be the way it is. <laughs> it's just going to have to be the way that it is. We've only got so much time in in this world and and almost only so much time to actually use in our life. So, you know, you know how it goes. But but we I did make progress. I made something I really liked today and it took so long and it was just like it's just a completely goofy fiddly bit for some background decoration, but I absolutely love it. I will show it to you in a moment. I'm 
gotta get some brickwork down here. Get some brickwork down here. It's coming along though. Like it's, it's not bad. Honestly, it's just not. It's not exactly what I want it to be. Thank you. I that means a lot to me because you've got you've got an eye for it. No, no question about that. So, oh, Flava Ball. Wonderful to see you as well. Hope you're doing really good. Hope hope that your cat I Give me give me a second here. I didn't write a note. Miss Debbie Tiny Paws. I did You I said give me a second cuz I didn't write a note. <laughs> I got it right though. It was the tiny like the Debbie part I I remembered that was no problem. It was the tiny paws that had gotten me. It's like, is that is the is her name really Tiny Paws? I know it is, but she's suitably babby. Uh, also, she spent half last night asleep on my pillow. That's like wonderfully cute, but also does that mean that like you didn't get to sleep on account of like she was on your pillow? Because that would be a problem. We wouldn't like that. Um, what did I, I got I got a, sh I got a show. This is so cool, and I love it so much. I'm probably gonna show it off more during the, the, the level, but, um, I, I'll, I'll show it off to y'all now. Because I am in love with this goofy thing that took me forever to make. You, I need to, I need to emphasize how long this took. Forever! Just to make two dolls throw a book. I love it! It's like the most wonderful thing in the world, but oh my god, not a guard. And, and the worst thing is like when you, if you look at the logic, it's not hard. It's like, it's super easy. Oh, Hidunda! It is wonderful to see you. We're doing one more night of create mode, Hidunda. I promise this is going to be the last one. Because, uh, uh, honestly, this is the last stream before this must be published on Wednesday. It can, it can wait lo no longer. Thank you so much, Melon. That means an awful lot. Uh, Flopple says her name is just Debbie. Uh, that's what the shelter said her name is. I just add s silly things like tiny paws. I mean, you know... You know, though, like, that's, I think that's wonderful. I don't think that's silly. I think it's wonderful. Because she do got those tiny paws. She, I've seen the pictures. They are doing some nice throwing. And you want to, you know, you want to know what this is? Like, this is so, this is it. There's a tag on the book to trigger a oh my god it's gonna go all the way out here I hate it I hate it so much uh, it, it triggers a sequencer the sequencer makes them jump and also it reverses course on the wobble bolt so that the wobble bolt will go in the other direction uh, the books on a follower it follows uh, a tag on the triangle I probably could have done that other ways but Honestly, like, this is just silly simple. I think the, the reason I set it up this way is because I wanted the book to change rotation during the throw. So it's on a motorboat. A motorboat. It's on a motor bolt. And for some reason I thought that needed, that meant it needed to be on a follower. But this is this is what I spent so much of my morning doing. I did that. I I, I got the um, the little teleporters. I've got we've got better teleporters now instead of those uh, bits of green grabbable material. They will even tell you to hit the R one button so that you know that you can grab them. Oh, 
Okay, good. I, I want to make sure that actually reset itself. I've got sleeping Kokeshi dolls, which I, I just I stole shamelessly from that level. Because I I love that level. That's the whole reason I made this one. Um, books, because it's an archive. Mostly, like, we're we're pretty good. I just want to do something with this. I, you know, and it's, like, really simple. The, the reason this tower is so tall is because there's different parts of the scenery that kept on catching it in the cameras. Catching the bottom of it, so I had to add more and more and more. <laughs> it's so ugly. Ah! Uh, it's, the books are just, um... Uh, they're just, uh, the ziggurat book decoration on sticker material. That's all they are. Like, just super simple to set up. And then I, um, I saved a bunch as stacks so that I could just slap them in. I didn't use this one very much because I, I don't think it really works very well. I, you might. You might. There might be a collector in there. Oh my god, by the way, I got the menu working. And it's, like, it works. It's so cool. Like, it actually does the thing that it's meant to do. I actually need to add a little bit more here. But... Because remember, we were, having, we were having all that trouble, like, actually getting the menu to go where it needed to go? Like, that's all sorted now. It ain't no thing. I do need to put some giant eyeballs on here. Because this is technically on the fake Kokeshi doll's face. Okay, so we need this to go... We actually need this to be zoomed out a little bit. Because I'm also going to have to put... Um, I'm going to have to put some... Instructions on the side, I think. Otherwise, the I think players might get a little bit confused. So we gotta gotta make this a little bit wider. And we'll put two big googly eyes over on the side. Hopefully this will be enough space. I think it should be. Oh it's Phantom Strom! It is so wonderful to see you. You might looking at the um uh the shot is actually flat though. Isn't it? I think it is. I think it's as flat as it gets. <laughs> this is the extent of the flatness. It is wonderful to see you, Phantom though. I hope that that life is being very kind to you. Uh we are doing a little bit of uh create mode again tonight. Although, I, I promise I will get to a couple of levels. Uh, but I really want to get this sorted. Do they, do the eyes actually not open? That's weird. Where, where am I? What, what happened to me? Okay, there we are. <laughs> ah, my brain is in a whole sp Oh, I see what the problem is. Cause like the eyes are actually like that, aren't they? Oh, it's Quill takes out a forgotten cake labeled Don't Open Cutesies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That sounds dangerous. That sounds dangerous as heck. There, that... 
That should sort it. Now, we want... Um... We need... Instructions. How you doing tonight, Quill? Well, how is everybody doing tonight? I hope that you're really well. I hope that life is not um, being jerky to you, and also that your brain meats are not screwing with you. That would make me really, really happy. If your brain meats were not being awful, I would be well pleased. Me? Uh, arrows are in... Arrows are here. Yeah. Had my first day at the new job. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is work day for... Excuse me. That was a burp. Kind of. It was like a baby burp. Uh, working in a disability unit at a local school. How is it going? Hopefully the students are being kind to you. That would that would make me very happy. Why why did I make this I went well, had a couple of kids being rude but otherwise a nice day. That is excellent. I mean, not the being rude part, but honestly Honestly, if, if you only wind up with just like a couple of kids being jerks, that's, I would say that's a, that's a success. Usually I, I expect worse from children. I had I well not I know, I know not everybody follows me on Tumblr, and everybody doesn't need to. Like that's not, it's not a thing. Um, but I did tell this story on the Tumblr's. I had a jerk at work yesterday. She was a whole piece. So this lady comes into the shop, young lady, um, done a pretty fancy like. She's got her two kids. Um, no mask. Well, no, she's got a mask, but the mask is over her mouth. Decidedly under her nose. Not only is this inconsiderate, but it makes her look goofy as hell. You know, it kind of ruins the dolled up aesthetic that she's got going on. Um, and I said to her, as I said to, as I say to, to everybody who is wearing their mask wrong, I said, Simasen desu kere domo, ano, masku, hanama de anagashimasu. So, if, could you please put your mask up above your nose, basically? It's, it's relatively polite. There's probably more polite ways to put it, but it's not like, it's not rough language. Uh, and she's like, no, it's fine. She brushes me off. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fight with you. Because that's how I lost my job last time. Um, so, transaction finishes. She gets her stuff. Takes her kids and goes. She comes back five minutes later. Now, key detail here is that I completely forgot her existence as soon as she stepped away from my register because she's a customer. Um... It takes a while for me to actually remember customers' faces. I see like a couple hundred every day. Um, so, she's still got her mask around her mouth. My brain says, new customer, mask around mouth, ask her to put it on correctly. So I did. She's like, are you going to say that to me every time? And then it, the penny dropped. I was like, oh, you're the lady from before. And I said, yes. I 
say that to every customer who comes in with their mask on wrong. And she gives me the riot act. She's like, I think you're being completely and utterly rude. This is absolutely uncalled for. It's unforgivable. You need to know that the government has changed their policies. Masks are no longer necessary anymore. To which my brain went, then why are you wearing yours around your, your mouth? But not your nose? Did the government say that they're only not required for the nose? Because the government's weird, but they're generally not that weird. She's like, it's on the government website. Have you checked the website? I'm like, nah, dog. Nah, no, I haven't. It was actually in Shinzo Abe's. I, did he wear a mask around his nose? I feel like he did. But so she gave me like the whole nine yards and I was just, finally I was just like, yeah, fine. I'll, I'll check it, whatever. I'm not gonna check the website, but just like to get her to go away. But like, she was, she was super hot. Like, not attractive hot, like angry hot. Hashtag uh, goofball for Shinzo. Uh, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with goofball on that one. But uh, that I honestly, I feel like I I feel like Shinzo Abe's last word should have been somehow related to a grift, because basically everything else that came out of his mouth was, but. In absence of that, his last words would have either have been, uh, you, can, you don't need to wear your masks except over your nose, or probably something like really rude about Korea, because that was also his gig. I did not like the man. He was awful. <laughs> he was awful. But yeah, that was my excitement. I don't know if she uh, complained to my manager, but I would not be surprised. Yes, Hive, I am, I'm sorry. It's create mode. It's not story mode tonight. I got to get this thing done. Um, we're, we're kind of in a, uh, a, a school, university. The, uh, the assignment is due tomorrow. What, or watch Darling in the Franks, an anime that was so propagandastic that I half expected Abe to show up on the screen to say, please reproduce. Is that what Franks turned out to be? Like, I feel like I remember people talking about that, but... Um, and then suddenly people not talking about that, and I guess that's why? Good to know. Good to know. It is wonderful to see you tonight, Hive. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing healthy. I hope that, that work is not being uh, jerky again. Because I know that you were talking a little bit about work last time. Wasn't it a mech show where birds and bees power the mechs? Um, it, it, like... By birds and bees, is is that like actual birds and actual bees? And that's not me being like snarky. I, I really don't know all that much about Darling in the Franks, except that it was a mess. I believe that it was a mess. It was the less interesting mech show where birds and bees power the mecha. See, the reason that I ask is that, like, I do know that it's a family-friendly show tonight, and I'm not sure if, like, you're saying birds and bees as in actual birds and bees, or if we're using a euphemism that the birds and the bees are often used for, because it's an anime, and honestly, it's a mecha anime. Either of those things could be true. Gender is when people don't make babies. I mean, isn't it though? Isn't that how that works? I was sure that's how that worked. Uh, visible and play mode text only, yes.
Also, but I mean, you say babies floppable, but for a second, I my brain misread your mistyping as pie crews, and I was just thinking about uh, a a meme that I'd I'd sent to Hive about some characters from Guilty Gear whose mothers made them in a pie crew, whose mother had made them in a pie crew. Also, I want a character. Also, so a character is like, I want a child so I can leave a legacy, and then when she's told she's pregnant, she's like, what's a pregnant? I feel like choices were made. <laughs> and then the only person that dies, the lesbian? This is not acceptable. This is, I do not accept this. Why is it always kill your lesbians? What, why is it always got to be kill your lesbians hour? I don't get that. I don't think that's cool at all. It's not hip or cool. It's not with it or fly. Because she won't reproduce. I mean, it's, maybe she's like a gremlin. Maybe you just got to put some freaking um, water on her. And then she'll she'll do the thing. I'm just saying that that they did probably did not try every option. This is the most awkward way I could have done this. I hate it. See, that did not do the thing that I needed it to do. <laughs> I am crying inside my heart. <coughs> this is why it takes me a, a flippin' hour to do anything, by the way. See what I mean about propaganda? It's most certainly Abe approved. The I mean, yeah, it sounds... It sounds like trash, and I don't like it. I'm gonna go with I don't like it for 100, Alex. Disco, what are you doing? What are you actually, though? Why would you want to make the Nintendo logo anyways? It doesn't even look like the thing! I don't know. Do I... Probably not. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm going home. I'm going home. That's it. Stream's over. I'm going home. That's not true. Stream's not over. Stay here, please. Don't, don't, don't touch that dial. I'm just having a very weird night. I, I, I appreciate, uh... I, I, I appreciate everybody who's put up with me this entire, like, last couple of weeks, because everything has been weird. I do appreciate it, though. It's like, it's a lot. It's been such a weird year, though. I mean, honestly, the Captain Haddock gif has never been more appropriate, and I hate it. Wow, what a what a year, eh? It's only the 23rd of January, Captain. That's the one. I have a lot of appreciation for crazy streams. I'm I'm extremely glad for that because you're that's what we're getting. <laughs> Oz, Alice, how you doing, Alice? I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're feeling like less ill. Unless you're feeling like the Beastie Boys seminal album, Licensed to Ill, in which case... Yeah, I mean, you could feel like worse things. There's, there's probably worse things that you could feel like. I'm a big fan of the combined calm and creative vibe. Yeah, you know, it, it is that. It is definitely that.
Are you gonna do the thing? There we go. See, one thing about the flat camera is that when you've got like notes on tags, you really gotta fiddle around with them to make sure that they look like they're where they're supposed to be. Because they, they kind of hang off the edge of things. Yeah, that works. I feel like... Are you... Sure. Because, like, I'm holding over on the right, and it's not going any higher. Wait. Oh! Wait! Wait, 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 it's more flat as it gets... What? Okay, first off, like, how did I ever not notice that? But second off, like... That, the, you've got to, hold on, hold on, I need to take a deep breath here. You've, you've got, your, your setting is called X, which intuitively you would read that as, as number in setting increases, X also increases. Like, if the setting is temperature, and the number goes up, it gets higher. The setting is brightness, the number goes up, it gets brighter. Why would you... I don't... I don't want to host this show no more. I... And that's, I don't even think that's a sumo thing, because I don't, sumo, like, didn't monkey around too much with, like, fiddly stuff like that. So that was probably the way it was from, from Media Molecule. Well, that just kind of buggers everything up, doesn't it? I guess, okay, that, that, that makes it a little bit better. I don't want to host this show no more. Flatness probably isn't the, the word to use for that setting. It's very confusing. And that's, you know, that's fine. 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 If they want to be that way. I don't know how I didn't know that until now. Unless I, I knew it, but I never thought about it. And so I just kind of internalized it. Now I gotta fix all my freaking notes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> fine. Love it. Wait, didn't I put these on something so I wouldn't have to do that? I did. Because I didn't like the kathunk sound. We feed on iron ore, we burrow through your planet, straight through its white-hot core. We bathe in molten granite. In case you were wondering. Um, okay, those are all readable. They're relatively centered. It's just the numbers and the... Ooh, don't want to do that. The Beastie Boys mentioned had me listening to one of their earliest punk tracks from back when they played hardcore punk. I did not even know that was a thing. Thank you for sharing that with us. I think the first Beastie Boys song that I heard was maybe She's Crafty? Which is probably not the name of that song, but that's just how I remember it. Either that or No Sleep Till Brooklyn. I can't remember which one of those was the one that used to be on Yo! MTV Raps. 
Yo MTV Raps was actually on TV before I went to school after Sailor Moon, but right after I right before I went out the door. Um, this was the era of Run DMC. And that is like re represents the sum total of what I know about rap. It's uh, with some with HRT, they could be the Breasty Boys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Um, our veins are caked with. Wait, tonight the mountains walk. Our rain is never ending. Our veins are caked with chalk. Seas parting, forest bending. I don't know why I've got frickin' Darkest of the Hillside Thickets stuck in my head, and I kind of wish that I did not, in fact, have the Darkest of the Hillside Thickets stuck in my head. I know very little about rap, though Chumbawamba did do solid rap punk crossover track at one point. You can you, you I I swear we we could just make a a very long list of things I never expected to know and or learn on my streams and that I love that Why, why, why did that suddenly turn black? Thank you. Chumbawamba is cool as heck. Like, they were an anarchist punk group before their one hit. I have been, I have been informed of this many times, and I, um... I... I have henceforth re... re... re revised? Revosed. Re... re... revised. It's revised. Risco, it's revised. You know it's revised. Why would you think it was revosed? Um, I have since revised my opinion on Chumbawamba. I, I had heretofore uh, judged them solely on their one track, their one hit, and that uh, turns out to not be, not be the, the way to go. And I accept that. They were only a one hit wonder because they refused to have a second hit. That is not something I would have expected, but I, I respect the hell out of it. There we go. That looks that looks relatively nice. I mean, it looks passable. It is, as the kids say, fine. It is exquisitely fine. Alright, so that bit is sorted. What else do we need to do? I feel like it's just so much. I gotta do something here. This is just so... Blah? We'll, we'll put it, we'll get another alcove up on top. I think that'll be a start. I should put on some music. Give me a second, I'll, I'll put a track on.
What would be... What's a nice one? Yeah, sure. That works. Uh, I don't care. Just whatever. Just it works. <laughs> and we want it to be on a timer so that it'll reset itself in case we ever turn stuff off. I almost swore I did not because I am good. There, that's... I'm, I'm sorry about that. You know what? No, I'm not... I, I mean, I am sorry about the flicker, but let's... We're gonna hide it someplace. Just in case... Like, you know, we've got folks who are... Uh, sensitive to that kind of thing. Okay, good. I mean... Oh, God, it's... The, the, well, please go just hide the... What the hell? Why? I just want to grab the music bit. Why? Don't do this to me, game. I will, I swear, I will lose my stuff. Do you want me to lose my stuff, game? There. Okay, good. The, the flicker's not as obvious. I've been working to change my resting expression to be a little bit more friendly and feminine. Really small changes, but they make a big difference. I... I don't know how to... Like... I don't know how to do that, because anything that's a unconscious thing that I need to devote conscious thought to completely breaks my brain. I probably would have an easier time with life if I could do that and yet on the other hand people seem to like the autopilot and I hate that so this whole thing leaves me a little bit confused Disco, that's not what you wanted That is also, I don't believe, what you wanted. I'm trying to make sure my expression is one of, I'll, uh, I probably hate you, get away from me to be honest, at least as a public face. I don't know, my face just does things, and then people interpret it however they want to. Which is kind of a weird place to be in, if, if, you're, if we're gonna be like 100% honest about the whole uh, thing, but it does seem to be the case. But I hope that your efforts to change your expression to make your expression more approachable are yielding positive fruit just when I'm out of and about become unapproachable see like I've, I've had that though I've done that <coughs> very small changes of the corners of my mouth to curl them up for a more happy look opening my eyes wider a bit to be, to be a bit more doe-eyed and slightly raising my eyebrows to get them arched. It's like... <laughs> I like how you're, you're like, oh, just these little things, and then then you break some... Like, I want to say, like, Lon Chaney style action out, but mostly because I don't know anybody else who is, like, super expressive with their face.
You and me both floppable. I'm autistic. I've got a lifetime of experience. You know? Fair. That is, uh, that is totally fair. Remember to save your work. Hirunda, you are a sharp cookie. You know, I've noticed a thing today in, in my create when I've saved. It hasn't actually done the saving flywheel, and that terrifies me. Hirunda, that makes me so nervous. I hate it. This isn't my first time rearranging my face, but it's the first time I've done it for me. I've never had my face rearranged, but uh, I have had the living tar kicked out of me. So that's kind of the same. Oh god, Hive, no! We were doing so well, Hive! Why? Why would you do that? Why would you bring us that? That bounty? Uh, this is true, Hiruna. I'm just, I'm used to the, um, I'm used to the flywheel, is the thing. And so when the flywheel, like, doesn't show up, it just makes me nervous. Those new singles are good. They're okay. We have a disagreement on the floor. A disagreement on the floor. The new Metallica album might be decent, which is the true crime. I mean... I, uh, better that than, like, another Jeffrey Dahmer retrospective, I think. I'm, I'm okay with that, honestly. Metallica's well and truly settled into the dad metal niche, and honestly, good for them. I mean, if, at least they're not out there hurting anybody. I don't think, at least. Hive, they're not out there hurting anybody, are they? Like, Metallica aren't pulling, like, a Megadeth, are they? I'm, and really, that's not a Megadeth, that's just a Dave Mustaine, but, you know... They're doing charity shows, so not quite Megadeth. Good. Hey, why'd you put it so far back, Risco? Also, just like, defysicalize this stuff. Why would you even... I don't even know, folks. Like, I just, my, I just do things. I remember making my old resting face, a resting bee face as a young teen. Feels nice to make my face work for me as opposed, uh, instead of trying to appease someone. I, I love it. I don't, and this is not me being snarky because I'm, I'm honestly not sure if this is like a, like a phrase that you're choosing on purpose, but I don't know what a resting bee face is. But it sounds awesome because I like bees. I'm kind of realizing I want to look pretty, but in a cool punk way. Um, in, in a kind of unapproachably hostile way. I mean, that's not a look, that's a lifestyle. That's, that's basically, that's me, honestly. Oh! Okay. 
Okay. Okay, like, that makes super sense. But also, like, we could have been actually talking about bees. I feel like we could have been talking about bees. I don't feel like I was being weird in that one. I mean, I was, but, like, not purposely weird, is what I'm getting at. Uh, but yeah, the new album is shaping up to be a cross between Kill Em All and Garage Inc. That's... wild. Honestly? I love when ladies look mean but are nice to me. That's why we get along so well. Quill. I figure look mean filters folks out. I mean, you're not... You're not wrong. The singles aren't all bad, to be honest. Metallica are kind of dad metal, but... That's how I see a lot of thrash. I mean, I mean we, we kind of got to figure, though, right? Like... Thrash is... It's old now. I mean, it's it's been old for a while, but like... It is... It's old. So, they're gonna sound like dad rock. It's dad's metal. Which means that the kids, if the kids are gonna wanna rebel, if the kids are gonna wanna be rebellious and cool, they gotta find, like, the the diametric opposite of Dad Rock, and that terrifies me. Because nothing good can come of that. Mostly old punks just breaking their hips, just out there breaking their hips. The opposite of dad rock is baby metal. I... Is that true? Like, I want that to be true, but... I'm not sure. I do know Rob Zombie likes baby metal, though, so, like... You know. I realize there's a lot of Rob Zombie... Love? that I have that is purely based on a Rob Zombie who no longer exists, but, you know, he... I still want to believe he's got his head screwed on relatively straight. His last album was fine. That's, that's good. I actually kind of love this! <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, we're gonna go with that. Dragon Force did one of Baby Metal's tracks. Do you mean like they covered it? Because that would be hilarious. I would love every moment of that. The opposite of dad metal is whatever the kids are listening to today that is so horribly produced that the guitars are buried under all the sounds. Is this, like... Is this an accurate assessment, Hive, or is this like a kids get off my lawn kind of assessment? I'm honestly not sure, and I'm not asking that to be a snark. It's an accurate assessment. Okay, I hate that then. 
See, I don't. I, I honestly like don't know what the new the new hipness is. So the opposite of dad metal is emo rap. What if what if the opposite of dad metal is emo Phillips? How about that? Have we considered that? I kind of, I mean, I hate to say it, Quill, but I kind of, sort of, a little bit, unironically, like Chug Chug. I don't know what that makes me, but... Okay, good, good. I was a little bit worried, is the thing. I don't know worried of what. What I don't know what I'd be worried of, but you know, even even still, this because it's me. I gotta worry. Apparently, that's like that's my lot in life. That kid, I like that that a kid made chug jug. It's it's great to see kids unabashedly create art. Yes! And now here we are. Now this is... This is, this is like 90% of the reason why I love LBP. What if the opposite of black metal is, is dad metal is just black gaze? I don't... What, what is... Do I want to know what black gaze is? I mean, I, I know a couple of black gays, but that's spelled G A Y S, and I don't think that's what you mean. Black metal times shoe gaze. I. That's a lot. I don't even know. That makes no sense to me at all. Show me a dinosaur! I- why do I love that name? That's such- that's like an unironically amazing name. Uh, Black is for dads who think they're still hip with it, but aren't, uh, cult enough for the hard stuff. <coughs> okay. I see, like, we're, we're, we're super cool because we're spelling cult with a V now. I was gonna say a VED, but that didn't make any sense. Ah, I see we're spelling cult with a VED. I... what is... What is wrong with me tonight? I don't make any darn sense. I feel, like, flustery, and I hate it. But it's also, like, low-key hilarious, so... Black gaze is what leads to a mosh pit of metal people in bright pink t-shirts. Uh, we do stand. Like, yeah. Chat helps, she's... She's vetted to calling me vet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I love all you people. I don't I don't even know what's going on, but I love all y'all because this is um probably exactly what I needed tonight. So Y'all done good. Y'all done good. You all, y'all get like, just the, the biggest cupcakes. If cupcakes are a thing that you're into, I know that we've established a few times that cupcakes aren't like everybody's gig. But whatever treat it is that's gonna make you be good. 
Because you deserve it. Shared something with Risa earlier at Lifter Spirits, but I cannot share it with chat tonight. That that one's gonna have to wait for a little while, but that was freaking hilarious. As somebody who was contemporary during that whole kerfluffle, uh yes. Yes, that did that that struck a particular nerve. Why we go this down to one? No! Darn it! That was me. I, I forgot to... I didn't catch it. Send me a black metal classic! Yes! Is it War Pigs? I... I need you to know that I said that on purpose, okay? I know that War Pigs isn't black metal. <laughs> Is it the Immortal? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Like, the Benny Hill clip, but to the, to the beat of My Immortal? Wait. What? Do I want to know? I mean, I probably should, but... Okay, I was thinking of something completely different. I don't, like, the Nazi art tweeter hive, that could be about a hundred different people. I hate it, but it, like, that, that narrows it down not at all for me. <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds great. We appreciate that. I made these stickers myself. I mean, I did. In paint mode. And I kind of liked how they turned out. And honestly, they're kind of like an accidental tattoo idea. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I could just put that on the pile of other accidental tattoo ideas that I'll probably never get, but like, seriously? <laughs> they, they come out of the ground! They're like the aliens and aliens! They're coming out of the the family-friendly ground. This is genius design. I want you to know this is genius design. Can folks recommend me some good metal without harsh voices that can be used to onboard people to the genre? Um, are we are we counting thought crime? And if not, why? I will check the DMs, Alice. I promise. I will check the DMs. Please, my sweet. You can make a series of stickers like these. They look like futuristic bonsai trees. I really like them. They're in the walls. They're in the gosh darn walls. Uh, now, okay, but let's let's be honest here. Aliens, but if the aliens were replaced by Kokeshi dolls? I'm not sure if that makes it more or less racist, so maybe I want to I want to walk that back a little bit. Not sure. I need to think about it. I watched a movie that was just alien in a boat recently. Um Fudge. I was going to say, was it this one movie, but A, I don't remember the name, and B, it was a knockoff of The Thing, 
But I think it was a knockoff of the thing via a knockoff of Leviathan? Oh my god, he did it. That would be amazing. Harbinger down! Yes! That's the one! Thank you! Hive! Yes! Both of you saw the same movie. Alice and I have seen many of the same movies, and it's it's honestly like kind of shocking. Caligula's horse. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's a bad name, Caligula's horse. <laughs> I they may be unironically great, but that is a fabulous name for a band, and I love it. Like this is completely unironically. I just love the fact that that is the band's name. It was a uh, Ludo's pick in the movie club we're a part of. Are you gonna... Wait. Are you gonna do a Gemini movie about Harbinger Down? Because I don't think that there was another Thing slash Alien slash Leviathan clone released the same year. Okay, good, good, good. Good-ish? Good adjacent? Wait, what happened to the floor? There was a floor here and now it's gone? This is not Silent Hill. You should be taking notes every time we drop recommendations, Hiruda. I mean, Hive, this is just an excuse for Hiruda to go back and watch the VODs. I'm shifting my eyes left and right in a sneaky manner. They can't deal with screams for personal reasons, so I've been avoiding anything with screams including death tones. That sucks. I mean, the screams are like the... They're like the... The the chili powder in the curry. You can't... What are you, got, what are you gonna do if you ain't got no screams? I have not taken a break yet. I should do that relatively soon, so I might just finish um, setting up these grab things, and then I might do my break, and now I can check my DMs. I will, I will do this thing. I will do this thing. Because I love you.
Yes? No? I feel like there should be a lip, is all. Some lip and tongue action. Oh! Melangard! I, I gotta go take the walks as usual, so in case you're still streaming when I'm back on, thanks for the stream. Um, oh, in case you're not streaming. Melangard, you have a wonderful time with your dogs. We'll be on for another two hours in case you do I have a chance to come back. But even if you don't, it was wonderful to have you here. Please stay safe, and I hope that you've got some happiness in your life. I don't expect there's a reason for you not to, but I hope you do. Yes! Um... Yeah? 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 Is this what we want? This is what we wanted. Hope this is what you had in mind. Cause this is what you're getting. I hope you choke. I hope you choke on it. I, you know, it's, I will never not have Tool in my head and I hate that so much. But, um, I am gonna, I'm gonna take my break. I'm gonna check my DMs. I'm gonna save. This is me saving. I noticed that there's no flywheel. I'm just gonna accept that that's the way that's gonna be. Um. Oh, wait, what, 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 how is it? As for heavy, heavy stuff, I'm most familiar with Strapping Young Lad and the Ziltoid albums and the deconstruction of a che The deconstruction of a cheeseburger is a fabulous name. I want, like, you know what I want? I want, like, a sideline in just making goofy band names and goofy album names. Like, just media. I just want to make names of media. I... I find that amusing as all hell. But this is me on my break. Hive, I leave the chat in your capable hands. I'll be back. <laughs> Please sleep well. Thank you so much for dropping by, even if it was just for a little bit. We love you and stay safe.
It just stopped! It, it just stopped, yo! What the hell? I was getting into it! Have y'all seen Nickelback live? I don't know, do, do, do they live like kings or do they live like paupers? All right, we are back. I, your your version of the joke is a lot better than mine, Quill. Let's uh let's take a run through play mode and see how this works out for us. Also, like that video you sent me, Alice, was a amazing. Looked like someone's like high school project. B, I loved how they kept on, like, popping in and out of frame. Because that was goofy as hell. The black wizard is also wearing, like, a band t-shirt, which is... fabulous. Oh, it's great. It's got that, that whole, like... Cookie Monster in a drum machine kick down a flight of stairs feel to it, which really brings me back. Nickelback once said they wanted to do a Slayer cover album. I mean, if it makes them happy. Uh, you're supposed to turn on the spooky music. Why did you not turn on the spooky music? Oh! That's, um... I... I don't know why, but I just, like, would not expect that from Nickelback. And I feel like this is not the first time that you've brought up that fact. Oh, that's... Right, the... Stickers glow. Well, I'm just gonna have to deal with that fact. Nickelback are metal guys. I... Then they got done dirty by their... Their record company. Because they are not, um... They're not metal. I mean, the, what, what they released was not... Metal. Ah, fudge! Chad Kroger shows up in a death metal track on a Devon album. Well, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm always here for learning new things. I keep give, give, giving myself killed on my own traps. 
Which, honestly, I, I kind of feel like is appropriate. That That is a good metaphor for my life. Oh, that camera is terrible. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about that. Alright, so we need to... turn down the brightness on some of those stickers. That's gonna be a thing that we need to do. Um... This cannon is much better. Uh, it's much more violent, which I appreciate. Oh! <laughs> Have I made this section too difficult? Quite possibly. And that's fine. You know what? They deserve... that. They, 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 if, they, if they choose the danger tweaker, then they deserve what they get. Alright, stickers the stickers lighting's gotta get turned down. She's got a book on her head and she's worried about dropping the book. So you can see cause she's shaking and she's got little sweat bubbles popping out of the top of her head. Cause she doesn't want to drop the book. This actually kind of works. I need to do some lighting, I think. Um, oh, fudge! I, I'm almost there. No, stop! Misko, what are you doing? Can I actually grab that? Okay, good. Don't tell anybody, but that's gonna be a secret. I'm gonna put a secret there. Luckily, I think all of the LBP players are currently not here. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta put the dialogue up for them. Menu works? The menu works? Check this out? I wish Hirunda was here to see this. But, uh, he did need to sleep, so... We have working menus. Like, I don't even know if you remember, like, how much of a trouble it was last time, but... All the more reason for Hidden to watch the VODs! This is true! Now... See, I do need to figure... I do need to do something about the cameras when we come out of teleport. That That's a bit of a problem. So I gotta figure out something about that. Oh, I know why the music is fudged up because we've got the we got the gardens track on because we we're listening to it listening to it during create mode. Want to make that cloud move a little bit more in the back right there? I think that would be a good choice. I need to fall down here. I might want to change a camera zone and put it maybe an extra camera when the, the players fall here. 
they might not be able to notice the cutoffs, but... Oh, it's Jilly Beans! How you doing, yo? It is so good to see you. I hope that life is treating you well. I hope you ain't got no stress going on. Okay, so that camera's gotta change. Maybe you could put some books back there. I gotta be careful with putting books back there though, that, so that we don't actually see the bottom of them. I think we're pretty good here for not being able to see things get dropped off. I love this. This is something else I spent all morning doing. This gal here. I love her. She is wonderful. Everything that we should all hope to be in our lives. A little bit more stickering here, I think, would, would be appropriate. Maybe not, like, we don't need too much. You are very well. This is excellent news. You missed the, uh, the, the, the black metal discussion? There was a lot of it. I felt like I learned so much, which I will immediately forget in the next day, but you know how that goes. These, I think, all need to be disabled controller. Wait, wait, no, 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 no! Please go to stop it, don't be silly. So what did we say that we needed to do? They they did indeed teach me that thing that there is a there's an Australian band called Caligula's Horse and that was exciting. I learned a new and exciting thing. Now I'm watching old Nightwish concerts. Well, that sounds like that sounds like wonderful fun. I hope that you're not like you're not giving yourself any any garbage about watching old Nightwish uh, concerts. I know that you do like the Nightwish. We should indulge ourselves.
There is a thing here. I gotta do a thing. Thank you, Phantom! I really appreciate that. That means a lot coming from you. My parents visited this weekend and I showed them how to access legit news on their devices and not right-wing conspiracy nonsense. That's... Okay, both very cool, but also incredibly important. So, good on you. I am glad that, that you were able to accomplish that. I talked to my folks this, um, this morning, and it was honestly kind of depressing. So, there's that. <laughs> Hate it, but, you know, it's true. Thank you for your service. Honestly, though, yeah. Oh, crumbs. Now, I gotta be careful. Um... Piero Gigon. Hello and good morning. Uh, for g good morning for me time. <coughs> Piero, is wonderful to see you today. I hope that you're doing exceptionally well. Hope you got no, uh, no garbage or stress in your life, or at least no more than you feel like you can deal with. It is uh, currently the evening for me. It's, uh, whew, it's 9.30, that's not so bad. 9.30 is not a, not a terrible hour for us. Alright, that should block that off. Like, it shouldn't be quite so obvious that there's nothing under those books. I'm chugging along. I'm going to try to uh, to knock out this schoolwork today. Feeling made it motivated to do it all today, which is good. That is excellent. I hope that, that it uh, is successful for you. I know that, that sometimes that can be a bit... <laughs> I was, I was not always, uh, what you would say, I was not always what you would call wildly successful at that, at that point. I was very much a, well, we're just gonna do all the, the schoolwork right before it's due, <laughs> type of gal, and that's, you know, not the, not the best way to handle that. Although it is very exciting. I would be lying if I said that it were not exciting. The forbidden excitement. Oh, you know, like, why not? Honestly, though. I'm an overachiever which has, has its benefits for sure. I'm glad. I mean... Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me check that for a second. I am glad that you're seeing benefits out of that, and I hope that the overachieving isn't to such a degree that it causes you stress in other ways. There. I think that, that, that covers what I wanted to say. Because I know that so sometimes overachievement can be its own, like, its own whole thing. I like that. I like I, I like that. That's good. Um, what else did we say we needed to do? Uh, 
we we needed to fix the camera here. That was a biggie. Maybe that that might have sorted it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we just needed to move it out a couple layers. And we wanted to put a stack of books just to eat up the background a little bit. I can't remember where it was, but we could just ride these up and, and see if that, that sorted it. Ah! Dang it, I knew it! Oh, you can't... You can't freeze the camera when you're... in the air like this. Okay, so that's gonna... we're gonna need more... books. This is the problem with, with fiddling around with stuff. Is you gotta make sure that it stays like on camera the way it's supposed to be. Let's see if that's done it. I think we, I feel like we just buggered something else up. Hopefully nobody notices that these books are just basically all the same after a while. Because I keep on reusing the same asset. It's sometimes you just gotta copy paste though. How's that how's that sorted out? Disco, where are you going? Where are you where are you going? Okay, this rides up. We can see the books. We can see the bottom. Yes. Yes. <coughs> that is exactly what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna put another reusable asset <laughs> uh, we're gonna put another reusable asset on top of those books <laughs> Jeep <laughs> I I don't know what you're were, you're were trying to say but I'm just gonna take it as a positive I'm I'm gonna say that the G was short for good And if it was not, then, you know, that's fine. We're okay with that. We ride this up. Humphrey, my cat, is super chill. We are fostering two young bunnies, and he is fairly indifferent. It's less stressful than I had anticipated. That is real good news. Because I know that you had, you had said that you were a little bit nervous that maybe Humphrey's... Um, I don't know why I wanted to say Humphrey's bogarting. Except that something in my mind said that was going to be funny, and that's not true. That's not true at all. Um, 
I know. <laughs> I know that you had said that you were a little bit worried about uh, Humphrey's hunting instincts kicking in, and maybe you know causing issues with uh, Der Katzensteins, or not the you know not the cats, the other things. Rabbits. Rabbits. Let's go to see the rabbits, George. George, can we go to see the rabbits? Dang it, Humphrey's bogarting again. Someone get the someone get the hose. Is that Seinfeld? Wait, what? The thing about the rabbits? No, that's, um... That's of Mice and Men. That's, uh... I forget... L Lenny is the... Um, Lenny's the shifty one, right? And and I forget what the name of the, the one who is quote-unquote simple. It's a terrible story. But, you know... It's one of those classics. Uh, the bunnies, on the other hand, have no chill in the mornings. Zippy little rodents. Suki the a uh, Suki the wagon. <laughs> uh, hello. Someone's actually streaming this game. I'm streaming this game. Um, although for this evening, uh, it is a little bit rare. Uh, usually LBP is for Fridays for us, but I really, really want to get this level finished before Wednesday. So, uh, as it were, I miss LD LBP. I mean, it's not the way it was. And there's, there's no gilding that particular lily. Uh, it's certainly not the way it was in the past, but it's still around. Like, there's still folks that are making levels. And making quality levels. The online, though... See, it's a little bit easier for me, because I never really did... Um... I never really did online multiplayer with friends, but... Because that is is not like that's not a functional thing, unfortunately. I would have I would have to re re get PS Plus uh, to play three though, because I own the PS4 version though PS Plus and my disc copy on is on PS3 when my profile got corrupted. Ah. The profile corruptions are real. Yeah, and you would need PS Plus anyways to do the online. That's one thing I'm, I'm a little bit salty about. Because, although I do appreciate having the, the cloud saves. And I, I play enough LBP because I, I do my review show. And the archive show, I play enough that it's like, it is worth it, but it's still an expense. And I don't use the online for anything but LBP. Like, I'm, I'm, I am not an online gamer. Oh, yes. Let me, let me, uh, thank you very much for the catch there, Quill. Um, the, the LBP streams are family friendly. Streams that we play of other games aren't, but uh, we, we do we do keep it family friendly for the LBP stuff. Uh, to either of you, I don't know. Uh, let me just quick check. Are you watching on Twitch the the website, or are you watching on like mobile, or are you watching off the PS4? Because you're watching through the website. Okay, in that case, then, we've got panels underneath the stream that have a little bit of just kind of, like, background on what our channel's like and who I am. Uh, if you just, like, if you just want to give them a quick peep just so that you kind of, well, 
know who I am, I suppose. Um, it's an issue that comes up sometimes with folks who watch on the PS4 or who watch on mobile, because on PS4, you can't see the panels for Twitch, and on mobile, like, you can see the panels, but it's like a whole, it's a whole problem to get to them. Yes, we, we do appreciate that very much, Quill. Because I... I forgot. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, no! I... I made a door and a window, but they're de-physicalized and they fell through the ground. Oh, I hate that so much! Because they're gone now. They don't exist anymore. Gravity betrayed me. This... I... You have no idea, Hive. Gravity done done me dirty. And I hate it. As as the tick would say, gravity is a harsh mistress. Um Woo! Trans women represent in the house. Yes! Uh, I think you'll find uh Tsuki that the um We've got like pretty strong queer rep in the channel, so um, at least that's one thing that you won't need to have to worry about. I'm still at... Yo, 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 my gal, my gal, we are, um, autocorrect, autocorrect is not queer friendly, um, autocorrect sucks. You and me both. Me, you and me both, I swear, like, it is such a thing. <laughs> Damn you, auto-mod and auto-correct. All the auto stuff, even the auto-bots, the auto-bots are cops. I said it. <laughs> there. But, yeah, no, I, I, I super dig where you're at with the access issue, and I'm sorry, because that, that totally, I mean, it's, it sounds so cheap to say it sucks, but it does suck. Like, that's not a lie. I hope, at the very least, that it gets sorted for you. Are you, is it... Cool says I could only get HRT because I'm privately funding it. I know it was it was an issue for you too. I remember you mentioning. Sorry, but like my my brain just completely stopped there for about twelve seconds. As as one does. Is are your issues, if you're comfortable talking about them, if you're not, then like, don't feel like you've gotta. But, um, are your issues locational? Or are... Well, I'm, let me think. How do I want to put this? Because, like, I know there's places in the States that are making it more and more difficult, like, by law, to get on care. So... Um, they're not locational. I'm in an incredibly HRT-friendly place. That's good news. That's happy news. Wait, what keeps on falling down? Stop! What, whatever your... Whatever is cosplaying as Michael Douglas, I need it to stop. You are not defense? Defense is not cool? Did I... 
lose another chunk there? I don't even know. Game, why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be harsh in my... my vibe? Did you hear about the restitch game that was being made for PC? Uh, I mean, it's really far off, but it's coming out... Uh, it's coming out still. Uh, hold on a second. I, I mean, it's really far off from coming out, but still. I have heard bits and pieces of it, and I am actually tentatively excited about it. I am really worried, because... It's... It feels like it's kind of begging for a cease and desist from Sony. Um... I know that they their original project did get a CAD from Sony, um, and that's why they kind of reskinned it. Right, they ditched the branding. The thing is, like, because I've seen pictures of their UI, and their UI is like, it's still the LBP, like, it's the poppet. It looks just like it, unless there's new build like new build pictures that I haven't seen so like I got my toes crossed because I would really I'd love to see that work out I hope they're uh, me too like I, I want them to succeed it's a hell of a project though because if they if they take it on then that means that they've got to take on the mod stuff too I mean, not like mods for the game, but moderating content and, and like community content and stuff. And that's like, I mean, that's its own whole giant thing. Um, Hive, I did notice that you said you had a recommendation for me and I would love to hear it. Um, it says I, I don't have many worries for the game being bad though. The studio knows what they're doing, especially since they're also known for making... Hold on, Twitch has just caught off the bottom of your stuff. Making multiple team picks. I mean, they seem to have, on the technical side of things, like, they, they seem to have their stuff together. That is true. It's PlayStation cut it. yes, yes. Listen to the bands Wheel and Selen if you want to find a tool fix without actually listening to Tool. I... The PlayStation character limit. Well, like, I've, I've got it... Here's the thing. The funny thing is, like, I've, I've got the... I've got Twitch open to my right on the laptop. Um, but because I've got a mod in Twitch that displays people's pronouns, um, it, it cuts off the last line that people have typed. It's... So I get, like, the character limit on the PS4 display, and then I get the, the line cut off on the Twitch. So I kind of get screwed either way. It's it's amazing. Um, Wheel and Selen. I... I... Well, I'll give him a listen, Hive. It's like... I... I think that's what it is, because it's not an issue that I had previously, uh, previous to installing that mod. Like, I feel like the mod is still beneficial enough that I, I'm gonna keep it anyways, it just means sometimes I'm a little, I'm a li little late to see what people are actually saying. I've linked you one of Wheel's albums. I will have to give that a listen. Because I do have that soft spot for Tool, but I I don't like uh, Maynard. So, you know. You know how that goes. <laughs> that Maynard. What a kidder. Alright, what, 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 what are you do- Risco, what are you doing? 
Right, this is gonna be the secret zone. It's gonna be filled with bubbles. And I need a sackbot and I gotta I gotta be careful because we're starting to get we're starting to get to that point of the thermo where it's like you know, you wanna be a little bit you wanna kinda You want to kind of think about what else you want to put in the level. Alright. I think the last stuff that goes in the level is going to be some lighting. For when it's in danger mode. And then I... Th I think it's just... Um... Ooh, that's a really good point. I doubt it's going to be a thermo bar. I mean, they'll, they'll... Yeah, how are they going to do that? Because you, you, you got to have something that's going to... let the player know, like... how much space they have to create. I wonder if they'll do, like... a hard limit? Just regardless of what your system requirements are like? Or not system requirements, regardless of what... What's the word I want? What kind of engine you've got in your PC? That is something I'm, I'm a little bit sad about. I'm not... Sad is maybe not the right word, but like... I'm not in the... I, I do not have the money for a new anything. So... If Restitched comes out... Um, I probably, like, won't be able to get it, just because, you know, <laughs> the money. Uh, they could do something like how LBP3 has dynamic thermo. And hopefully they would get it to work. Because LBP3's dynamic thermo is kind of pants. It is kind of pants. <laughs> I always found LBP's dy dynamic thermo to be, uh really good in concept not so much in execution let's see now we want all of the bubbles I had to enable dynamic thermo in my moon testing world just so I could have enough space when you say, like, moon testing world, what were you, like, what does that, what does that mean? <laughs> <coughs> Not to sound, sound goofy about it, but like, I don't, how are you testing the moon? I prefer making objects in, and logic in create mode. Oh! Okay. Okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Honestly, like, I don't... This is, this is a rarity for me. If I get this level published, this will be the first thing that I've published, like, as a level level in 10 years. Uh, I do a lot of sets and like kind of hub environments because I, I use them for my my review show. And I, I love doing that and I love like making little goofy things. But I got it in my head because I do an archive show as well and we just passed 50 episodes so I got it in my head that I would make a level like with links for the ten of the the episodes that uh, ten of the the levels that I really liked, and that was ambitious because this is definitely not my fort. I mean, on the other hand, it's been good. It's been a good, like, practice for just how all this works. 
I wish the moon had pages in LBP3. I mean, I wish a lot of things about LBP3, to be honest. <laughs> that sounds so snarky, but it is true. I love LBP3, but I also am frustrated by it. Wait, can I even teleport into this room anymore? You're now discovering a couple Aussie prog, uh, Aussie prog bands. Well, that sounds kind of cool. Have you ever gone through the pain of forgetting to put a level icon on your project? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, very much. And I've, I've had way too many levels on my, um... On my moon? Can we... Can we not teleport? Oh, okay. Maybe we can. I've never actually, like, tried to teleport into a pile of bubbles before, so... This could be exciting. Okay, so clearly that didn't work. Nisko, could you... Could you, like, really, though? You gotta... This is not the jam. <laughs> you have to remember to, to reset your counters. Oh, cool. We can do it. See, I feel like when we stopped putting rooms full of just random bubbles in our levels, that is when we started to turn away from the face of God. I'm only half joking about that. Um, what else did we want? Lights. God, that thermometer is just creeping up and creeping up on me. Like a creeper? I hope the restitched adds a latch or perma switch thing that acts as a counter that's already set to one count. I mean, that would be nice. Honestly, there's like a lot of little things like that that would be really cool to have. I I appreciate what we what we do have in um brain meats. You got to brain meats. I need you to work. You gotta, you gotta actually work, though. Um... I appreciate a lot of the stuff that, that Sumo did put in, in LBP3. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff, but... Oh, right, we actually have to physically pull that lever. If research doesn't get sticker panel, I'm gonna riot. It, I mean, honestly though, seriously. You gotta, you gotta have, this, this is, I'm, this is one I'm not gonna let go. Like, you gotta have sticker panel. The first time I heard the word God was when I was six and two girls approached me to tell me I was gonna burn in hell forever. Because they learned about religion 40 minutes earlier and needed to feel superior. I hate that. They can go to hell. They can go to hell. They could die. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a, that's that's a bit much, but um, yeah. Well, I mean, I I definitely I'm I'm not a fan of Christianity as a concept. I feel like. I feel like religion is a little bit too chonky for me to say, like... Like, there's just... there's so much of it. There's so much of religion that I don't know... ...anything about. Uh... Because that's... I mean, the U.S. is very good at building up a vague sense of Christian knowledge. 
and I got brought up Roman Catholic, so I've got that background, but there's just like, there's like 60 billion religions in the world, so I don't want to say like religion as a base thing is off the table, but uh, boy and howdy, I, I do think that Christianity needs to, to, to freaking sit down and, and have a think, like have a real strong think. They don't, honestly. One thing I've, I was, I was really happy about um, when I was on Twitter, and although I'm not on Twitter anymore, I have followed some of these folks uh, afterwards. But there's a, there's a bunch of folks, uh, there's a bunch of Jewish folks who I used to follow on Twitter that would kind of really get into. Judaism and particularly Christians' misconceptions of Judaism and like how that's all an entire bag of works. Ball of cheese. Uh, it's a mess. Like it's a giant mess, but it's also really, really interesting. And it's the most I learned about what like it means to be. Jewish and what Judaism is like and the history of it. I didn't learn any of that in when I was living in the States Like I didn't learn any of that in school They talk all the time about like Judeo-Christian values and uh, Apparently that's like a whole thing of I Need a family-friendly word for the thing that I want to say but uh Bunkum that's a whole thing of bunkum like, it seems like the Judeo-Christian values are just like, not, not a thing. Hogwash, hogwash is good. Hogwash is hive. Hive though. Hive. Hogwash. Flim flam. Flim flam. Hive. What about flim flam? That's a good one, too. Heck, a major reason for Judaism being a close practice is because Christians refuse to stop trying to convert Jews. There you go. There you go. Uh, but, I mean, to kind of come back to the point in what you had said earlier, Adski, that, like, here's a, a religion that at least, you know, in the, in the speaking, in the public speaking in the United States is often said in the same breath as Christianity uh, as like kind of a major quote-unquote okay religion and we don't learn nothing about it we don't learn nothing about it at all so basically that's my long-winded way of saying um yeah this just way too much I don't know but a uh, whole basis of organized Christianity is instilling the fear of hell in the people to get them to do as you want, so I can't exactly blame those kids for picking that up. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Guess who can't learn about their own traditions online? I... Like, I feel like there's a lot of groups. Is it... I mean, I want to... I, 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 I don't think it's a gotcha question, but I'm wondering, like, is it Muslims? Because the U.S. has got, like, 60 billion watch lists. Okay, I was right. I hate that, but I'm not shocked, but I do hate that. Kids in Australia often choose to not go to religious education classes these days. Wish I could have skipped that junk as a kid. I, I had to take, what, um, I had to take like a year and a half of some form of theology to get my sociology degree because I went to a Jesuit university. And it sucked. And, um, 
Ethics was taught as a theology class, which is kind of a lot. Gonna take a break from Twitch. It was nice to drop by. Good luck on your level. Piero, thank you so much for dropping by tonight. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I know that you said that it was morning. I hope that you're staying safe and staying healthy. Staying healthy. And know that you've always got a space here anytime that you want to drop back in. And Hindus, because the government uh, is whipping up ethno-nationalist nationalistic fervor, so most Hindu stuff veers into traditionalism and how the Muslims should be re I... Not happy about that. Which again is like one of those like amazingly inane things to say, but I am not happy about that. That ethics class permanently changed me. I finished my philosophy major, my philosophy minor at UW Milwaukee. I don't. J Jilly, the only thing I remember about that ethics class is that I almost failed it because I slept through the exam. I didn't sleep through the entire exam, but I woke up like an hour into the final. And I ran to class in my pajamas and bathrobe. If you mean the the, the topic, Quill, like I'm I'm sure that we've 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 talked about this before. Like I'm sure it's come up before. Uh, it's the main problem I have with religion as a concept, that it unwittingly trains and opens up people to being swayed by hateful ideologies masquerading as their religion. I mean... You're not, like, wrong, precisely. Although I, I feel like there's there's a lot of things that could be... that could go in that box. Like, religion is, is, is definitely one, and it's got, like, particular reasons why it works, but... Like... And we got nationalism in there... You've got the weird way that we kind of, like, group into niches... Wait, wait... Jilly, you almost had security called on you the first week? How? How? You looked so wholesome. Okay, I thought you looked so wholesome. Okay, that's not true. I thought you looked absolutely fabulous. Uh, which... I mean... Is not necessarily not wholesome. But it's probably not wholesome by the standards of Marquette University. Well, it's true. Ain't no lie. Not a word of lie. Oh, you're like Tsuki, You're you're like super cool. I don't want you to think that I'm. I'm trying to jump down on you, because uh, I I don't want to do that, and I I don't think that you're you're wrong. I'm just kind of want to brought it brought in it out. Uh, Hyde says the one class I almost failed in university was my psychology ethics class. Uh, I ended up, and yet somehow I ended up more ethical than the people running the institutions I work over. Like, I mean, Hive, I'm not, I've, I've heard about the institutions that you work under. I am not shocked. I am 0% shocked. Um, Julie says the Augustine centric TA didn't appreciate my scoffs and assertions. <laughs> my scoffs and assertions. But I'm not shocked. I I don't I I am I am zero percent shocked that uh, you you may not have endeared yourself to uh, this person. Wait, why are you not defiscalized, Risco? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're being goofy. These lights, they don't need to be physical.
I guess the reason the I, I guess the reason just to kind of not belabor my point, but to what do I want to say? To clarify my point, uh, the the reason that I kind of wanted not specifically and only focus on religion like that uh, is just because I I've, I've run into enough folks who kind of swing way over in the other direction where they're like let's you know we got to burn down all the religion and there's, there's nothing possibly useful out of that and this that and the other thing uh, but they tend to be like making all religion into Christianity and then looking at it through that lens and it's like that's kind of it's also not like a great thing Like, the tag radars should be... Used to be meant for cross-controller. You know, I never got to play that pack. I never had that pack. Because I didn't have a Vita. And that is... That's one of the, um... Uh, great disappointments is maybe a bit of a strong term. But it is one of my disappointments that I didn't... Um... I never got to play Vita online. I had Vita cross... Well, I didn't get to play Vita at all, because I, I didn't have Vita. I got to play Vita cross controller, it was hella fun. Everybody I have talked to has been like, Oh my god, the Vita was so amazing. And the, the jealousy I have, let me tell ya. It's the... The thing that I, I don't get, and I... I kind of I wish. So I'm over here and I'm over here in Japan land. And Japan like just did not hardly support LBP at all. Every now and then I'll be watching these like LBP deep deep dive videos and you know this is the LBP uh, iceberg. Look at all this neat little LBP stuff and they'll they'll talk about like, these cross promotion deals and things that like I had no idea even existed because there was no there was like none of that was marketed here there was a couple of commercials when LBP came out and I was lucky to see one of them in a a, a game shop when I happened to have enough money in my pocket to get a PS3 and I was like, I've got to get that game because LVP won. This looks amazing. And it got a little bit of feature in some of the, the video game magazines here, but like not very much. And then LVP 2 came out and I just caught a commercial like completely by chance on some Friday night movie show that my ex and I were watching. And I... Like, they didn't see anything else. There was no marketing or anything. There was, like, nothing for it. It was very frustrating. Um, Suki, uh, do have a care, because we are in, uh, we are in a family-friendly stream, so... Just as a, a warning, I promise when we do the Isaac streams, you can drop the F-bombs all day long. <laughs> Isaac streams are good for, for F-bombs. Um... <laughs> But, uh, Sony murdered it so hard that people don't remember the uh, 3DS also almost died at launch, but it didn't die because Nintendo bent over backwards to prop it up. Yeah. 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 Vita got done dirty, and LVP got done dirty. Oh! I did not know that fun fact. And I hate that. I mean, I'm glad that you you, you told me, because now that's a mystery that's been solved, but um, I had I didn't know that that was the bit. And I, I'm I'm not pleased with Sumo's handling of um, of LBP. I think they've handled it quite poorly. However, I do have to admit that, like, 
they were working under a lot of conditions. They, 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 they had a lot of eggs in the basket that they were trying to get home safely. Now, I don't think that they put a lot of care into getting those eggs home safely, but I do, I do have to respect the fact that, like, yeah, like, there was a, there was a lot. <laughs> This is a very bright light. I don't think it needs to be this bright. I don't think any of these lights need to be this bright. Remembering to save. I gotta remember to save. That's actually perfect timing, because I'm gonna take a, um, I'm gonna take a, a really short break myself so I can have a cigarette. Um, whoa, this level's getting pretty complicated, huh? With all this stuff inside, uh, you might have it difficult to publish. Crumbs. Check the DMs I sent you. I will peep those DMs. Oh my god, oh, that's the that's the art Nazi? Did the art Nazi like Did the art Nazi steal the meme? And then just crop out the best one? This is Nazis ruin everything, honestly. Let me let me get my stretch. Let me get my stretch. I'm gonna be back in five. Oh the the crack in my neck was so good. It's not like a, it's like too much all in one spot, I think. Sorry I'm shouting, but I'm, I'm having my cigarette right now on break. <laughs>
All right, we're back. Yeah, I, I figure it's like, I probably got just, it's too much stuff like all clumped up in one place. It comes up every now and then. I have provided you with a clarification. Oh, I, I, I saw the bit about the, the art Nazi getting dunked on and let me see the let's see the art Nazi did that and then a bunch of people dunked on them including posting marginalia from religious tests that was nothing more than funny doodles of genitalia and then somebody took the Nazi post and applied Hegelian dialectics to it and that was the first tweet I linked to you it's a good tweet um, could you read those messages I sent oh, did you did, were the messages the ones about the uh, the difficulty in publishing a level, or did you send me messages, like, directly? Because I don't have a direct message. Oh, about the error. Um, yeah. I, I did catch that, but I don't know if if uh, you heard me shouting over my cigarette. Um, the I have had the error come up every now and then, and usually it's a, like... There's too much stuff in one place. And I did just put in like a bunch of lights, so that might be it. And like you said, the file size, like it, it, it might be a file size issue as well. I've had it pop up on levels uh, on hubs before. The, the hub I did for New Year's, I really liked that one. That was, that was, that was special. That ended up being special. Called! <laughs> it is wonderful to see you called. I hope you're doing really well. I hope life is treating you kindly. We are, uh, we are getting close, called. We are getting very close to this being finished. I feel it's size, uh, though, because difficult to publish might mean upload ta might take a while. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. Um... I have scotch and CBD, so all is well. How's my favorite squirrel girl today? Much better these last three hours. Honestly, like, was, um, today was a bit of a day. Today was, it, it's, I've, everything's been kind of a lot recently. Um, but, but. I, I came into the stream, and it's just been a wonderful, chill stream. I learned a lot. That's always cool. I've gotten a bunch of stuff done on this level. I'm slightly terrified that it's going to corrupt, like, any moment now, because that just would be my luck, but... So far, it has not, and I feel semi-proud of it. So yeah, yeah. What, what was I gonna do? I, I need to, right, got a counter. I only want this to play once. I remembered to change the counter size this time. Go me. You have a whole central business district. Oh. <laughs> Took me a second to realize, like, what the heck you're talking about. Also, like, is that... Is that safe to mix those? Because I remember... Like, getting high and drinking never really worked out very well for me. I did not know that! Tsuki, I, I did not know that. And that is very interesting news to me. Oh, hey, Quill! You stayed very late tonight. Quill, you have a wonderful day tomorrow. 
I, I hope that, that work continues to go well for you. I hope that these kids, by and large, uh, remain not jerks. Because that would be cool. I, w I would appreciate that. But it is always a pleasure to have you here. So you be well and safe and happy. Definitely not high. CBD is my main painkiller. Okay. So CBD is like... It's not like... Pot pot, I guess. I don't know how any of that stuff works. I have been in the States for... for... freaking 20 years now. I... I had... any... lovely... THC cross my lips in... 20 years... no, actually not that long. Non... uh... T it's THC that makes you high, not the CBD. CBD is the non-psychoactive ingredient in cannabis. Wait, they made an entire industry of, of taking the fun part out? Why? Why though? That's the whole point. I hate it. I mean, the fun kind did that pretty well. I wrote the CBD protocols for my government agency back in the day. Holy crap, Hive! THC doesn't do anything for me beyond giving me a sinus pressure headache, unfortunately, so I gain no benefit from it whatsoever. Hate that. Although, like, if, if we're going to be perfectly honest, um, even if I went back to the States, like, I don't think I'd start smoking up again. Um, it feels like it's, it feels like the reason I was smoking up is basically the same reason that I was drinking once I came to Japan. And, like, I did stop drinking for a reason, even if it wasn't like successful so I don't know that even though I think that from a health perspective and probably f to a slight degree from a psychological perspective getting high was probably less damaging than the drinking but the purpose was the same and that's really what the problem is Also, I'm excited to see how Restitch does handle the keyboard and mouse in creative mode. That's... I hadn't even, like, considered that. Do you think it would be faster? Like, that just seems like it'd be a whole pain in the butt to me, but... But then again, like, folks who do keyboard and mouse, like, they know what they're doing. Like, folks that do shooters on keyboard and mouse are, like, zippy quick, so...
If they add shortcuts to make it work more like Photoshop or some of native t uh, PC program, it could work really well. Huh. Now I'm just excited. I mean, I was excited before, but I'm more excited now? Also, not to mention my... Now, that is a really good point. The mouse would be a lot easier with, uh, with shape editing, yeah. And probably a lot more precise with, like, placement. Now to think of it. I probably don't need that movie. Yeah. Oh. Should that be longer? I mean, it's not a very long speech bubble, but... Maybe it should be? Why would, why would we want it uncut? It should be on soft pan. Yeah. 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 Alright, that's good. We only needed to say that once. I did want to put these on pistons, so why don't we sort that now too? There's always like, there's so much. There's always so much to be done. Also having a proper clipboard style a clipboard system would be way better than losing your clone the instant you let go. The, I, I like the cut of your jib. Also, in case that's like too old-timey a phrase, that's a very positive thing. I'm, I'm not sure like what hip lingo the kids are saying these days, but I like the cut of your jib. Your jib, it has a fine cut. Okay, so it's, they're moving very slowly. That's okay. They can move slowly. They don't... We don't... The world... We don't have to be rushing in this world. Okay, yes, we do. did I need to do? Like, I do feel like I want to decorate a little bit more. Oh, crumbs! Did I miss, like... God, I am so sorry. I got... I got zoned into doing the pistons. Um... Right, okay, so I got the one about the clone. Imagine being able to copy something, zoom out, fly to the other half level, then paste, instead of slowly... Dr oh, God, that would be so nice. Like... Yeah, though... Yeah, though, I can. Can we hook you up with the restitch team, and you could just you could be like the the reminder demon. 
because these are like these are really good ideas these are things that would actually help me out a lot would have helped me out a lot today <laughs> Because I know they're working on a proper clipboard system. I should I should be following more closely their progress. Uh, Hyde says, from maritime traditions, alluding to the identification of far-off ships for the shape of their sails, as in the Naval Chronicles 1805, from the cut of her sails in, as an enemy. Um, use idiomatically of a person from early 19th century, attested 1824, possibly influenced by the similarity of... A triangle, a triangular jib sails to a person's nose. I was waiting, like, I was expecting pants. At the end of that sentence, I was expecting pants. I was not expecting nose. I do not feel that that is appropriate. I mean, it's appropriate for the channel, but, like, I feel like a sail is, like, pants. Pants, not noses. Why would you... Old-timey people were weird. Okay? The old-timey people need to be stopped. <sighs> okay, this scope. What... What else did you need to do? I feel like there's at least a couple more things that you wanted to do. Did we? No, okay. I, th I thought we lost a light for a second there. From what I recall correctly, the Restitch devs plan on offloading level uploading to the Steam Workshop. That's actually kind of clever. Honestly. Yeah, like that totally works. Make it Steam's problem. Also, Steve, Steam does have apps for creating built-in Steam Workshop browsers. Gary's Mod has one. All right. So, like the the um, what's the word I want? The infrastructure is there. Eh? Visco, what did you just do? Oh, right. No, you, you, you're fine. You, you're, you're okay. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> if they do it right, the inbuilt workshop browser can handle it automatically from clicking play. I'm, not, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I, I'm crossing my fingers quite significantly. Yes! Yes! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I think here's what we, we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna save it. God, the chug. The chug is real. Uh, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna do one last... Uh, test run of it and then I'm gonna try to do 
one community level. I wish we could have played a couple more community levels tonight, but this was just what needed to happen. Uh, Tsuki, just to, to kind of let you know, like, usually when we do LBP streams, like, we do... I, I do try to play, like, a lot of community levels on streams. It's just because this... I've got kind of a time limit on on this creation that I'm doing. But... Welcome. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to keep an eye on the background to see if things are appearing that shouldn't be. Those should probably be on caption. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna end up getting a little bit more decoration. I... but maybe not. Maybe, like, I just need to be like, okay, we're just not... we're done with decorations for right now? Did I just jump on the saw? Like, is the saw still existent? Oops. I mean, surely nobody's gonna notice that. <laughs> Oh, f I forgot to take the music out! God. I deserve that. Oh, I need to- f I need to fall down and see if that camera is working right. Which means I'm gonna have to do these jumps another time. Okay, yeah, that was okay. We're not seeing too much of the... bits that players shouldn't see. should still be here. We'll probably be here for another, like, 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Alright, that cutscene works. We can make it over there, that's fine. That cutscene also works. These... those two bubbles up there are just placeholders. They're not gonna stick around. It's fine. It's not too slow. It's a little bit slow, but that's okay. I think it's forgivable. Also, what's going on? I gotta check out that cannon over there, because I think I screwed that cannon up somehow. Oh no. Okay, those are moving. They should be moving. Okay, you're... Yeah, that's actually moving. I thought maybe I'd... I'd, I'd carved through the cannon somehow, but... Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we're just doing a test of the non-danger version. So let's go back to the entrance. We're gonna throw this over to the danger version. Okay, I like the blue lighting. The blue lighting actually works out. I was I was a little bit worried about that. It's clear, but it's not like I don't feel like it's overly done. Oh. 
These are my own obstacles! <laughs> what am I... Why am I dying on my own obstacles? I... Just be patient. Just, give me, just be patient. That arm is still really bright, but I don't think it's... There's anything we can do about that. This light here is too bright. This light could get turned down. I think that's fine. Oh! Oh! Can't hit me! I'm a ninja! These lights too probably- <laughs> uh, These lights too, they could probably get turned down just a little bit. I think changing that to three three shots from the rocket was probably a good idea. It does make it more dangerous. That light's too bright too, that's gonna get turned down. That was a good shot. Well, well done. Honestly, though. Okay. I should probably turn this, the camera shine off. I'm low-key kind of upset they got rid of the shock explosives from LBP PSP that didn't uh, destroy terrain due to the game limitations. It would be nice if you could place those in mainline LBP levels. Um, so can, I honestly made my own explosive rockets just so they wouldn't do that. Like, you and me both. I didn't even know that was a thing, because I never played the LBP PSP, but I was telling folks on the last Create Mode stream that we did, I was like, yeah, I had to go through this entire hullabaloo to, to make my own rockets so that it looked like they exploded when they hit stuff, but they didn't leave, you know, they didn't damage the materials and they didn't leave like that the sticker you know and folks are just like oh yeah they used to have those in lb lbp psp but they took them out and it's like what 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 but but why though those are so good all right let's we could get one community level and then i'm i'm, I'm really gonna have to wrap it up because we are getting close to the three hour point now <coughs> Excuse me. Not to self-promote, because I, I do kind of like... I do feel weird uh, tooting my own horn. But because you did mention that you are a fan of the LBP stuff, and you do seem quite knowledgeable on it. Now, I, I do have a LBP level review show on the YouTubes. And I do have a LBP level archiving show also on the YouTubes. Um, if you are interested in those things, they do exist. I'm not going to oversell them. I'm not going to say you got to watch them, but they exist if you're into that kind of thing. But let's see what we got. I am not playing a Last of Us episode, although... It is by AC Draymon. And AC Draymon is pretty darn cool. He is, as they say, a very cool cat. But, um, we're not gonna do that one. We've done City Rush before, I think. So we're not gonna do that. Give me something to believe in. Ooh, it's a Trixel Creative level. They are they are quite fancy pants. In fact, I think 
Some of the folks from Trixel Creative are working on Restitched. So this should, there you go. There you see, we are, we are on a theme. This is a themed episode. I am, I feel like Ms. Fancy Pants over here. I mean, I'm wearing a, the skirt, is it skirt? Like, it's too long to be a skirt. But it's only from the waist down. But a dress is like, that's the full shebang. I feel like Ms. Fancy Skirt, I guess. That's why I have a lot of faith in them to do restitched, uh, do restitched right. Because they know their level creation. They do do that. They, they do. I feel like that's an, that sentence doesn't quite work. But I feel like also that you probably know what I mean. Oof. I know that we played we played Trixel Creative in levels before. What is going on with that Ferris wheel? Like somebody's gonna die. Also, that is a f amazing Yukata. I love it. I would love to wear one of those. As white as I am. Restitch is only on P uh, PC, right? That, as far as I know, that's the plans now. I have I have not heard uh, a, a single peep about Restitch being put out on any other system. But that makes sense. Like if they're if they're looking to. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me for the cough. If they're looking to take advantage of Steam's backend, is that the word that I want? If they're if they're planning to take advantage of Steam stuff, then I don't have PC. Like putting it on on PlayStation would no doubt put that in, in C and D territory. Oh. It's Kettle! It is wonderful to see you! I, I'm doing... I'm doing a lot better after this stream. Gonna be honest, doing a lot better after this stream. It's been, it's been very nice. And this is, the, this is a, a perfect cap for the end of stream. I'm glad that you at least just managed to pop in. How are you doing? Is, is life being kind to you? It, it better be, or else I will get remonstrative with life. I will be disrespectful to life. I'll be like, yo, life, what are you doing? Kettle is good people. You can't be, you can't be disrespecting Kettle like this. That is what I would say to life. Now, life hasn't really listened to me very much before on any other topic, but I feel like it would listen to me on this one. Because even life has got to recognize what I'm saying. I just woke up and we'll do some body weight exercise and hopefully the day will be okay. You know, you had mentioned that you're working on the exercising and that it seems to be going pretty well for you. Like, something that you're enjoying. Why these people glitch the scoreboard? Why, why they do that? Why y'all gotta be glitching the scoreboard like that? That ain't cool. If, if Restitched can find a way to sort out the, uh, the scoreboard cheats, I would be okay with that. Oh, I can't sticker the scoreboard? Well, that makes me sad. I glitched the scoreboard once and I kind of regret it. Well, uh, it, at the very least, you have, you've learned from it. And that's all that we can really ask. I like it, and more importantly, I'm doing it consistently. That is wonderful. There was another thing I wanted to say there, but the important thing is that that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what that looks like. Hmm. 
<laughs> Why you gotta be so difficult? Popsicle? I am trying to do a thing here, Popsicle. You gotta work with me. There. That's gonna have to be good enough. But I'm, I'm glad. It's hard to keep consistent with new routines. Even when they're routines like that you actually enjoy and you feel are improving your life, like... Kind of sticking with it is a whole thing, so I'm glad that this is working for you. Uh, Phantom says, kids will think top score with glitch is cool. It's true. It's true. I hate it, but it's true. Um, uh, I want to, like, I wish I didn't have work tomorrow morning, because I could easily stream for, like, another hour. Although, I, I should also recognize the fact that every time I have said, oh yeah, four hour stream, that's no problem. As soon as we get to like the three hour and 15 point, it's like my brains are just completely done. So uh, maybe it's for the best that I've worked tomorrow, but I don't want to go. I want to, I just want to, I want to do more LBP, to be honest. Uh, you have free tomorrow? I do not. I do not. I have work. Your girl's got to wake up. She's got to make the, the big yen. As a cash register jockey for Don Quixote. Oh my god. I That's going to be my goal for this week. One of my small goals this week is I'm going to put up the pictures of the Don Quixote mascot on my Tumblr. So that you can see, because this thing is a terrifying gremlin. It is a penguin with human teeth. I can't stress this enough. It is a penguin with human teeth, and it always has eyes that look like it wants to eat your kidney. Um, ADHD, uh, or all, all ADHD, is that autism combined with ADHD? Hates routines and habits, but talking about it online helps, helps me keep up. Kettle, I hope that you do. And I hope that, that you're getting something out of this. I mean, you seem to be getting something out of it, but I hope that you continue to get something out of it. And I get it about streaming. I once streamed for nine hours thinking, I feel, I feel good, I feel good. I did not feel good later. Oh, my God. Kettle, the longest I've done on a stream, I think, is five, maybe six. When we were wrapping up Resident Evil 6, uh, this is in the before. Like, that, that VOD is, is gone. It's long since gone. And... We'd gone to like the Ada section, and it was just like, oh, I'll just I'll just wrap up the Ada section on stream so that we don't have to do another stream because it's probably not going to be that long. It is so long. It was so long, and I was just like, I just wanted to crawl into a hole and die. I was so tired. But <laughs> also have autism and ADHD. I, I'm see I'm glad that I have the channel that attracts folks that can be comfortable with themselves and just be open about that kind of stuff um, here I don't know what I got but it's it's a whole brain's worth of bad wiring that I haven't had I haven't gotten any diagnoses of because I'm old and in Japan and old and in Japan but but but, <laughs> hi fellow Audi H dears. It's always nice to see I'm not alone. I'm glad that you're not alone. Wait, hold on. I mean, yes, I am. I, that, I don't feel like that conveyed quite what I wanted it to convey. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm, I'm not old, old called, but like I... I'm old in the sense that when I was young and some of these things should have been caught, it was, while it was getting more acceptable to bring, like, younger folks into psychologists and psychiatrists, it generally wasn't done. And, like, ADHD wasn't really a particularly well understood diagnosis, it had a lot of stigma against it. like. I had a lot of self-stigma against it, like just even the idea that I might have had that. So in this case, when I when I say old, it means that like when I should have caught this stuff, catching this stuff wasn't really an available option for me. 
Whereas I kind of feel like if I were 20 now, that being open about it like like y'all are able to do now and kind of having some more of that infrastructure of understanding of these issues and like how to deal with them makes it a little bit easier uh, a little bit but then I, I read about folks that have the hardest time in the world getting diagnoses so what do I know I might be talking right out of my butt uh, so he says there is some science out there that shows gender dysphoria is a neurological thing which in my opinion feels validating because it shows that I was always trans even if I twitch let me see the rest of if even if I didn't realize that I that's a big conversation and, and one that I want to have uh, because it's very much my mood um, but I, I don't have the time to get into like the backstory uh, but believe me that I'm very much vibing with your mood right there but I gotta wrap this up uh, Kettle says, not gonna lie, I didn't know this was a thing until I was in my 30s, so this is still a recent thing. For the longest time, I thought I was a cis white dude thing. I thought it was a cis white dude thing. I mean, that's like, that's in it too, you know? The image of what ADHD and what autism was, was very much... But... But let me start to let me start to put the bow on things because we open up these great boxes like right at the end of the stream. Um, but we can come back to all of these things next time. I want to throw a special shout out to Tsuki for joining us tonight, uh, first time. I hope that you found a comfortable space, someplace that you might enjoy coming back to. Uh, the schedule's probably not current in the panels, so really quick on that one, we are. Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Usually Monday and Thursdays are long form games. Fridays are LBP's create mode. Uh, it's a little bit weird these last couple of weeks, but you know we're working through that. Um, but you're always welcome here, and I, I deeply appreciate you ha having dropped in. To everybody, you are all absolutely wonderful, and what you did for my mood tonight was, I can't thank you enough. Um, Lucky that I managed to catch the rare event that's an LBP stream. I mean, rare in the sense that it's like, it's every Friday <laughs> for me. <laughs> so like, <laughs> it's it's not that rare. Uh, it's rare for it to be a Monday. It's it's rare for it to be a Monday. Uh, Claire, welcome. You came in right at the end. Um, have me come in at the end. Hope you're all well. I am well. I gotta go. Everyone, please be taking care of your needs. Drink your water. Get your electrolytes. Have at least one meal a day. If you got medications, try to take them as close as schedule as possible. But importantly, remember that you are not alone. There are people out there that do care about you, that do want you to have a good life. I am one of those people, but I am only one of those people. And I know I'm not alone because you've all been here for me. But from me, Disco, here in Tokyo, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be. Thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigato, sayonara, see you, and ciao.